today I'm going to show you guys how to create this snow elk Halloween makeup look. I absolutely love this. I feel like it's super magical. It's glittery. It's icy. And it's perfect for Halloween if you love fantasy looks. I love creating them. And if you guys like them too, be sure you like this video. Smash that subscribe button. Comment down below what you think of this look. If you guys want to know how to get this look, be sure you keep on watching. And let's cue that makeup tutorial. Alright you guys, so we're going to be using some Bioderma Sensibio H2O wipes to start out with. This is great to prep before you apply your Halloween makeup because it's going to cleanse the skin, remove any excess makeup, oil, dirt, any buildup on the skin, and get it nice and clean prepped for your makeup. And this can be used for everyday makeup, glam looks, natural looks, Halloween makeup. You want to make sure you're always prepping your skin like this before you start any look so it's nice and clean. And you want to go over that with a lightweight moisturizer. This is the Sensa Bio Light. It is very lightweight on the skin that you can't feel it and it doesn't interfere with any makeup that you put over it, which is what I really love. And I typically use something like this before any look. I love to hydrate my skin and really get it feeling really nice and soft before I go into a look. It makes the makeup apply a lot better. We're gonna be going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I have glitter on my face right here, so I had to flick that off and keep on going. So here I'm just blending that into my face t-zone area preferably you don't want any of this paint getting in your pores whatsoever so I like to apply this all over my body here I'm gonna be gluing back my brows and you can see my process here I just like to go ahead and flick those hairs right up using a spoolie and this is nice because they lay really, really flat I'm gonna be using my Delium tools brush to blend some concealer over the brows and you want to make sure you really lock these tail ends away because we're gonna create a new shape later for foundation, I'm just applying my everyday foundation mixed in with a white cream paint, which is going to give us a really nice, icy, pale base for this snow elk. Just blending that all over the face. Make sure you cover everything up to get that nice pale look going on. And to set the brows, I'm using a white face powder just to lock them away. And for brows today, we're going to be doing a shape that I wish that I had, which is really, really straight brows. They're somewhat kind of alien-ish or like elf-like in a way, and I so wish that I could like wake up with straight brows like this. I think they're so cool. So I'm going to be doing that to mine. I'm just using a brown cream paint mixed with a white to get this color. You could use your everyday brow product for this. I just wanted the brows to be pretty light so they wouldn't be too, too dark against the white hair we're going to be wearing later. I'm using a white cream paint to really clean up any of those edges and sharpen them out. You want to make sure your brows are really, really sharp for this look. It's kind of one of the key factors in this look. I'm using a brown shadow to fill in the tail ends, really similar to how you would fill in your brows every day. You're going to want to go in with a powder after to make sure they're really, really opaque. I'm going over the brows with an iridescent glitter that sort of looks like snow. I wanted it to look like I had some snow kind of stuck in the brow hairs. And this is a really pretty, like, iridescent blue-toned glitter. I'm going to be going in with the pink eyeshadow next on the inner area of my eye and kind of wing this out. I'm sort of following the shape of the brow, just going straight out and then bringing a little bit of this down on either side of the nose. I'm going to be using a blue shadow, and this is like a royal blue, and I'm going to wing that out right underneath the pink. You want to make sure you really build this color up so it gives a nice pop. Make sure you're winging that out. I love to wing out my shadows because it makes my eyes look really big. And for this look, we need our eyes to look really big, like a deer, like an elk. Animalistic eyes, really, really big. Animals have huge eyes for the most part. All right, moving along, I'm using a purple eyeshadow to blend all of those colors in. So they blend in seamlessly with each other. This is like a transition I'm using here. I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner on the waterline and I'm really gonna drag this down and create a huge tear duct. Animals usually have really big tear ducts. Deers do, elks do. So you wanna make your eyes look really, really big and this does a great job of that. So I'm just kinda winging that down and then winging it back out again. And after you've applied the liner, you're gonna want to go in with a blue eyeshadow. This is a light pastel blue color. I'm just lining right up against that white and this is gonna create a new lower lash line for us. So you wanna pack on that color really tightly against the white and then smoke it out with a fluffy brush. I did smoke this out quite a bit but it is such a soft color that it looks really nice and angelic on the skin and not too, too harsh. I'm going in with the berry eyeshadow on the lid. This looks really nice against the lip color we're going to be wearing later, but I thought blues and berries are just so wintry and pretty. 
I had to do them for this look. I'm using the dark blue eyeshadow to go up against that white, and this is just going to create some depth to that lower lash line and make our lashes look a little bit darker down there. And you could blend that out with your fluffy brush. So here I'm going to create these branches that I wanted to look like were covered in snow, so all I used was a white water activated paint and a thin brush to create these, and you can kind of swirl these around however which way you want. I did add in a few extra towards the end of the look, which you guys will see, but they're actually really simple and easy to do, and really fun. You can kind of get a little ahead of yourself with these and do a lot of them if you're not careful, but I felt like I didn't have enough, so I'm going to add some more later. I did add some underneath the eyes as well. I thought they were just really pretty and just very snowy. So I'm going to go ahead and use some blue eyeshadow to really shade out these branches and make them look three-dimensional. I love this color because it almost gives such a wintry effect to the whole look, and it's the same color we used on that lower lash line right up against the white. I'm just shading everything out. It gives it some nice dimension there. So you want to apply some mascara before any lash that you apply, and here I'm going to be using these, which are awesome. I think they are so, so pretty. I'm so obsessed with them. They're nice because they have the tips of them are covered in an iridescent and silver glitter, so they look like snow is kind of just on the tips of your lashes. They're not completely frosted, which I really like with most lashes that you find like this. The whole thing is like white, but these have a black base, so you can still see that there's a lash there. And there's top and bottom ones, so I stuck both of them on. And to thicken up that lash line, I went in with a black eyeliner in the top waterline. This made my lashes look a little bit heavier and thicker. Here I'm going to be using a white powder just to set the face and lock everything in as well as brighten. And for the nose contour, you want to make sure you do this because it's an important step with any animalistic look. You want to make sure you've got that nose going on. So I just used a pink shadow to do this and I really blushed out the tip of the nose to give it a sort of cold feel like my nose you know, was a little bit pink from the chill. And here I'm using a highlight to brighten up the center area of the face and add some luminosity to this look and make it look a little bit less matte and more shiny and what you would look like if you were out in the snow. Just a light glisten in the face. Kind of gives it a more magical feel as well. So here I'm applying some glitter to the chin, to the cupid's bow, and to the nose. This is going to look a little bit like frost is sitting on the face. And this is the Violet Boss Wendy glitter. You want to apply that pretty much all over the face. Just gives a beautiful snow-like look. And for blush, I'm going to be using a baby pink blush to really rosy up these cheeks. Similar to the color your face would look like if you were like outside and it was cold, your cheeks would naturally flush like this. And here I'm going to be applying this color lipstick that I actually switched up to a more vampy color. I felt this one was a little too pink, so I applied a berry color right over it which I thought was so perfect for this look. It's just a beautiful winter shade. I love it. I did apply some glitter over the lip as well. And for the body, we're just gonna be painting our chest completely white with a white cream paint. You wanna get down while you do this? Yes. And I'm just applying this like all over my chest wherever I'm gonna have skin showing. So whatever costume you're wearing will dictate how much you need to paint. I'm going to be using a dark blue eyeshadow to really halo out the body. We're just going to be going around the body with the blue. First, this is going to add some, some depth and some fantasy to this look. To add those colors in that we have going on in our eyes, we're going to add them to our chest. Here I'm using that light blue, and then I'm going to go over that with a pink shadow. And that's the one we used on our eyes, you can see there. It's really cohesive with the eyes, which I love. ahead and blend that all over. Here I'm going to be going in creating these branches. I wanted to create a few more than what I had before. I felt like I didn't have enough. And I added some more to the forehead and a little bit down the cheeks. And you want to make sure after you add those in that you go in and shade them as well. And we're just shading them how we did before, just right under each branch. You want to add a little bit of that shading, so it gives it a really three-dimensional effect. Here I'm creating those branches on the neck. I just did this on either side of my neck, 
and I'm just swirling these around in every which way. It kind of gives the look of a natural branch. There's no right or wrong way to do it really. They're kind of all over the place, which is really cool and magical. And I'm going up underneath them with that blue shadow again and pressing some glitter all over the chest to add a nice frost to the look. For the hair, I did end up wearing this white wig, but I'm gonna take it off because I almost forgot that I actually made some prosthetic little ears for this look out of latex. And they're skin colored. I'll show you guys what they look like. They look so realistic when you apply them, it's crazy. They look like this. I created two sets of them just using some liquid latex. And I went in and applied them using a bit of prosade. My mom wanted to blend these for me. She was like, can I blend that? I'm like, sure, go ahead. She blended in the tips of them for me. And then I went ahead and stuck them on really good so that they wouldn't move. I'm just using a Q-tip and some more latex to do this. And I went over with a white cream paint to blend it into the skin color that I had going on. And for the wig, I wasn't sure what to do with it at first. So I put it up and I actually loved the way it looked. Popped on my horns and used a bit of this white hairspray to blend my dark hair into the wig because it was showing a little bit when I put my hair up. You can go ahead and adjust the wig so that you can see the ears really good. And I love, love these horns. I think they're so awesome. I actually dipped them in some glitter to get this look. I'm gonna be applying my contacts. I chose a pair of periwinkle ones for this because I felt like it went really well with all these berry tones we have going on and I applied some of my extensions I have lying around. They're like braided unicorn extensions. And then a little bit of pink on the nose and the look was complete. I hope you guys loved this icy winter snow elk.